morning everybody so this is my morning routine when I get ready for work in the mornings so I start off by heading into the bathroom and I as you can see I'm rather tired here I start off by just tying my hair out of my face and then popping in a headband just to pop up tie up my fringe just to make sure it's out of the way then I move on to my Elemis um, facial cleanser and I've been absolutely loving this lately it just wakes me up in the morning and I use cold water to wash my face just because I think that actually really does wake me up in the mornings so just lathering it up there and then I use a damp flannel just to remove obviously the excess um, cleanser and this is really refreshing especially if you use cold water and then just dry my face there there we go next moving on to teeth so brushing my teeth I do this um, obviously as soon as I get up in the mornings before I do anything else and then moving on to a mouthwash which I think this is just an oral B mouthwash 24 hour protection and so I just use that then I fill up my water cup I'd call that a cup um, and I always make sure that it's full of water and I drink it all before I leave the house next we turn the light on and head downstairs to um, wake Arthur up but usually he's sitting at the bottom of the stairs so I'll just open my door curtain which I absolutely love especially in the winter and then we open the door and there's Arthur like I said all ready and waiting open the lounge curtains to let some daylight in and we always give Arthur a fuss in the morning just to say hello, hope you slept okay. Next we go and, and sort my lunch out for the day so I get everything prepared out of the fridge that I kept in there. So I think it was salad today. So I just get everything out. And then I take it over to my lunch bag and pack everything in it. And as you know, I always make my lunch the night before. So my video for three healthy meal ideas for work, I will link in the description bar below so you can check that video out to get some meal ideas for work. Then we head back on upstairs where I make the bed. And I do take pride in making my bed, especially since I've had my own house. Well, I do like to make sure the sheet is all nice and flat and fluff up the pillows as well and the duvet make sure there's it's all nice and aired and then it will be time to put the cushions on so I do have quite a few cushions but these are the first couple that I like to put on then I have the ones that I got from Primark which were a bargain and then I've got my G and H pillow there that obviously George and Hannah and my lovely subscribe cushion which I have to put on my bed now because it just looks awesome and now here is the makeup that I wear for work on a daily basis um, I will also put a link in my everyday makeup routine in the description bar below for you all as well so you can check that out too and I'm just going to move on to my hair and I normally just straighten my hair a bit make sure there's no kinks and things like that um, I just normally do that for work I don't do too much with my hair because purely and simply I do not have time okay there we are hair all done all ready Next we're moving on to my outfit, so I'm not going to show you my trousers purely because I wear the same trousers every day but this necklace my grandmother got for me and I'm literally just wearing a plain white top so this is my work outfit, not very exciting I'm afraid. Then we open the curtains in the bedroom, sorry for the poor lighting, close the window, get all my bag ready which I packed the night before which you would have seen in my evening routine and we head downstairs. This is when I just make sure and finalise, get everything ready, check the time, make sure Arthur's got food and water and clean his litter box, make sure he has fresh litter for the day. Grab my coat and my shoes and get those ready. 
Then finally we head on over to Arthur and he knows this now. It's so funny. He sits by the piano every day waiting for one of his cat treats. And it's so funny. He, should we give him one? Shall we? Oh, go on then. He is sitting rather nicely, so we'll give him a treat. And he absolutely loves these bacon-flavoured uh, Felix Twist treats. But I only give him half because I think a whole one is a little, a little bit too much for him. And he does this really sweet little trick. I wonder if he'll do it. There we go. He does it. And he does that every single morning before we go. Well, every time we go, George and I leave the house, we give him a little treat. And then we say goodbye, Arthur. And then we get go and leave the house ready for work. Off we go. So lock the door, make sure it's locked. I always check the handle just to make sure it's doubly locked. And then we walk on over to the bus stop. So I walk over the green area, which you'll see in a moment, and literally my bus stop is right over there. It's not very far. When I get to work, I head on into our little tea room area where I put all my stuff down on the table and I prepare my breakfast. So put my things down, and I'll then hang my coat up and prepare my breakfast. I hope you have all enjoyed my video today. Um, please leave me any comments in the comment section bar below. And please, if you do like this video, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And I will see you all in my next video. I hope you have a good day. Take care, guys.